Alright guys, welcome back to the next video of the Minecraft tutorial on how to make this image, not exactly this image, but kinda, uh, uh, in Blender. So, in the previous one, we learned how, in the previous two videos, we learned how to import this scene into Blender, this jungle scene, and also how to make the water texture, like so. And now in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to make some corpuscular rays or god rays. And yep, they're going to look pretty cool. Now, if you want an example of god rays, I have one right here. This is from Call of Duty, but it's the same principle. Um, yeah, so first off, you're just going to need to figure out where your camera is. So this is your camera, and it's facing that way, obviously. So the god rays coming in would be probably good from this side. So just add a spot and move it to here. Make sure you have it on side view. Move it like that. Like that should be good. Look at it from the top. Like this. Okay, now in the light settings, just um, close off everything. Make sure you have show cone because then it'll be easy to see like where it's going on, where the stuff's going on. Decrease the size to about, let's see, 35. Make sure you have halo checked. Make the step up to 6. Put this at 0 0.5. Let's see. Put the in intensity to 0 0.5. Right, you're already starting to have some pretty good looking god rays. Except they don't look too good because of the positioning of the camera, but no matter, press F, and then you should, if I just look at that right there, then uh, this is just an example. There you have it. That's that's just how you make god rays in Minecraft, or in Blender. Okay, so just move the camera back into its original position. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible, but if you didn't like how the god rays looked, then you can obviously just change the positioning. I just had to fine-tune it for this image right here, and that's why it looks like this. But then, um, yeah, then again, it depends on the world and every other thing. So if you don't want it to come from the side, if you want to come, uh, if you want it to come from a little bit from the front, you can just do that. That looks so good as well, but it's kind of foggy too much I guess but then yeah so it just depends on uh, how you want it so if I do it like that then it's probably gonna look good because okay it seems to look okay but then again uh, it depends on how you want it and how your world looks like so obviously uh, yeah that parts up to you so that that is it for corpuscular rays and in this tutorial it's pretty small I'm also going to be including how to make the cloudy background like here and in the next tutorial I'm just going to be um, doing everything else like the um, the swagging up if you will of all of this like the depth field the shiny water and you know everything else so yep this is Crepuscular Rays um, yeah you might want it coming from the top but then yeah, just you can uh, adjust it to however you want later on. Uh, yep. So this is it for this tutorial, except for the fact that I'm going to be adding the the mesh of the background. So what you're going to do is going to add a plane. Make sure you rotate. Make sure you bring it out there. Rotate it 90 degrees. Wait, I said 90. Rotate it 45. Wait, what? Okay, rotate it to 90 degrees and go up like that make sure go into your camera this the this helps me uh, just go into your camera settings and click on limits so it just shows you how far it goes uh, just go put it at the center down there limits is obviously used for something way different but then I'm just gonna use it for now go into wireframe view by pressing Z on your keyboard make sure you have this centered or a little bit above just increase the size like that kind of rotate it a bit so that you don't have to go out too much alright that looks good make it a little bit higher like that and yep that should look okay uh, 
yeah when you have once you have the plane selected just go into textures click on new uh, the texture I'm gonna be using is this one right here this looks like a pretty good texture the links gonna be in the description as always and yep just open up the, the this, where you have clouds just click on image or movie open and uh, where is it desktop clouds texture alright when you have this set to texture it should show you how it's gonna look if I t no wait it doesn't it's going to solid again so that's your background oh make sure you have this make sure your um, panel or like background doesn't cover up the spotlight because then you, you're not going to be able to see anything so just do that just make sure it's like a little bit above all right my arms itchy sorry about that see if it works now yeah it works what happened to the god rays right this is really just you know so frustrating sometimes I know but then you'll get used to it uh, yep there it is there's the god rays so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I mean this video of the tutorial there's more to come alright so uh, yeah uh, I'm just gonna do this really quickly, but if you want, you can always fine-tune the uh, positioning of all of this stuff. You can just bring it higher if you want the clouds to be seen more properly, but then uh, this is gonna be it for the rendering or the blender part of the tutorial, and yep, uh, it looks too dark, I'm just, I mean it looks too bright, I'm just gonna delete this point, or make sure you have environment lighting off, make sure ambient occlusion is at 0 0.8 or something. Oh wait, make sure I'm the occlusions at one. Otherwise it's gonna look too bright too dark. Uh, okay, let's add a point. So basically make sure you have environment lighting off. That's the only thing. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it for the blender part of this tutorial, but now let's go into the jimp slash Photoshop part of the tutorial. Um, okay, so yeah, once you once you're done with uh, the Blender part, uh, just make sure you have the samples set to let's say 20. Make sure this is set to 100 to 120, 1280 by 720. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Very good. Very good. Okay. The rendering part is going to take a little too long, so I'm not going to speed it up. I'm just going to cut to it, because I have a bunch of other things to do as well. So, yep, just render it again. That should look huge, and it's going to take a while to render. So, I will see you all after the video renders. Alright, welcome back. And, as you can see, we have finished rendering our image. Uh, the water looks good. The thing, the god rays look good. The background is okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this this looks pretty good, except uh, we're going to be adding more swag to it soon.